Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's going to be a continuation in the Python tutorial series on this channel. And today we're going to take a look at importing modules. Specifically today we're going to import the random module and we're going to use it to build a random number guessing game. So uh, if you have any questions about anything you see today, feel free to let me know about in the comments. I will be covering a lot fairly quickly and assume that you know some of the basics that have been covered previously in getting started with Python. So let's get right into it. Um, to pull in the random package, you can't just call a random number from Python without pulling in the random package. So you're gonna use the Python keyword import and then say what you're gonna import and we're gonna import the package random. Um, if for whatever reason Python didn't install in your machine with random on it, you may need to run pip to install random. Um, but a standard install of Python will use it. So it stays grayed out typically until you're actually calling it somewhere below. Um, so we'll go ahead and make a, a variable and we'll say random number is going to be equal to, and then here's where you call the random package. We'll say random.rand, and we'll pull in a random, uh, a random integer. So we'll say we want a random integer between 0 and 100. And what that means is when this code starts up, it's going to go out and it's going to pull a random number between uh, 0 and 100. And let's uh, also, as part of our game, let's count how many guesses it takes to guess it correctly. So we'll create a guesses variable and we'll set it equal to 0. Um, and then we'll also create a variable called guess answer so this will be what the user inputs and we'll start that out at zero as well so those should be all of the variables we need as we get into this um, so let's go ahead and take a look at actually uh, creating the function so let's say the actual action of guessing we'll create a little function and we'll call it um, we'll call it user guess and it doesn't need to pass any variables in so inside of user guess, we'll say that the actual guess that you make is an integer of uh, input. And the input that we'll say is guess a integer value between 0 and 100, right? So we tell the user right here kind of what the range they're guessing in should be. Um, and then inside of this guess as well, well, um, no, we'll do the incrementing the guesses outside of this, okay? So let's just go ahead and say we're going to return the guess value. And then what we want to do is say while the guess answer is not equal to, so what we're checking is that the guess answer is not equal to our random number that we pulled in in the beginning. So the whole time they're not equal, we then want to check if our guess answer is greater than the random number, right? So if the guess answer is greater than the random number, um, then we're going to print on the screen, go lower, because our guess was too high. And then what we'll do is we'll increment our guesses. So we'll say guesses plus one. And then we will run the guess function. So, or a user guess function. So um, every time they guess and they don't get it right, we add one to the guesses total. Um, and then we run the function again. So that's why I put that code in a function rather than putting it um, in here directly. So we can just call the function over and over again. And then we'll say, well, if it wasn't greater than and it wasn't equal to, which we check in the beginning, we'll say that we're going to print go higher. Because now the only thing that it could be still is if we're too low. Um, and so we'll copy the other two rungs of code, though. We're going to increment our guesses still. And then we'll run the user guess function. Um, and then that should be all we need inside of our while loop. And then once we exit the while loop, we're going to print, uh, we'll, we'll say, you got it. Actually, we'll say, you got it in. And then we'll tell them how many tries it took. 
in plus string conversion, right, of our guesses variable. And then we'll say, you got it in that many tries. So one other thing we wanna do, this code would run, but it's always gonna make your guesses total one too high because it thinks you're starting from zero guesses. Um, so what we'll actually do is we'll go ahead and run um, user guess before we even enter the while loop. So this way, uh, the first thing that'll run is that you take a guess and then after that you're in the while loop. So let's go ahead and just check this out. I know I threw a lot of code in there real quick, um, but the random function is kind of cool and this is just a neat little project you can use and incorporate in anything like games uh, to create a little random number generation. So let's guess an integer between zero and 100. Let's start with 50. Wants us to go higher, let's go to 60. Keep going higher, we'll go to 75, higher. We'll go to 88, higher, <laughs> we'll try 95. Uh, higher, I guess we'll do 99. And it wants us to go higher. It wants us to go higher than 100. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Go higher, let's try 1000. Am I crazy? Go higher. Something funky's up. If the answer is greater than the random number, tell us to go lower. Or the answer is not equal to the random number. Else, print go higher. Let's just say else, we'll do an L if guess answer is lower than random number, just to make sure I'm not going crazy here, because this strange things are afoot. So let's stop it and rerun it real quick. Uh, so I think we got pretty close. Let's try 50 again. Okay, go higher. I've just heard that before. 75. Let's go straight to 99. 100. Uh-oh. All right, let's take a look at our code here. Random number equals random dot rand in zero to a hundred. Guesses are zero. Guess answer equals one. Let's try getting rid of. The, oh, it's because that initial guess uh, we don't we don't set it equal to anything. Boy, oh boy, that was silly. So uh, what you need to do every time you call that was stupid. Every time you call this function, you have to actually update your guess answer. So we were starting it at zero, and even though we were running the function, we were never um, we were never updating it. So it was always saying uh, that the answer was zero. So let's try that again. Fifty. Fifty. Go lower. That's nice to see. Twenty-three. Go higher. 40, uh, go lower, okay, let's try 30, let's try 25, uh, higher, 27, higher, 29, 28, there we go, we got in 7 tries, so uh, let's go ahead and try that um, one more time, just see if we can do any better, I'll start right in the middle, 50, go lower, 25, go lower, 12, higher, go 18, lower, 15. Four tries. Okay, we did a lot better. Now the code is working. Um, if you have any questions about why that wasn't working, uh, I know I said you have to set your function equal to the actual variable that you're checking. So we were never updating the guess when I originally wrote that. That's why it messed up. Um, those sorts of little things can cause hiccups. It's always frustrating. But uh, this is a cool little intro to using the random function and building kind of a number guesser. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, sorry I got tripped up there, but if you have any questions about anything you saw today, let me know about in the comments below. If you did find it useful or anything else on the channel useful, I really appreciate a like on the video and a subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.